Oh, the horror. What's inside the horror pack for March 2019? Every single month, Horror Pack delivers to you a selection of horror-themed DVDs or Blu-rays, or both, if you collect both mediums. I still collect both mediums, of course, depending on how available a title is in a certain horror movie. I may only get it in a DVD, but needless to say, if you are interested in subscribing to the Horror Pack, I'll put the link down below. I believe this is the March 2019. I'm about this much certain. I am certain, though, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up, and like we always do on this channel, we're going to reveal the contents. I know, I know, I shouldn't be pointing my knife like that. I'm going to reveal the contents one at a time. We're going to look at the title. I'm going to tell you whether I've seen it before, because I don't know what's in these uh, I, unbaggings, these bags of horror movies, because I don't ever check other people's channels. Whenever somebody else is posting an unbagging, I don't want to see it because I want to keep my surprise fresh and alive and when I'm actually opening up the bags myself. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Uh, let's start from the side. That seems like as good of a place as any. And I'm going to just open this up just enough that I can get my little digits in there, my little tiny fingers, and uh, we're going to pull out a title, and we're going to go through every single uh, title of the four titles that Horror Pack delivers every single month. Again, I believe this one is for March. So the first title inside the Horror Pack for this month is... We've got... This is Chillerama. Four films from writer-director Adam Green, Joe Lynch, Adam Rifkin, and Tim Sullivan never even heard of this the ultimate midnight movie let's have a look on the back here uh, let's see here it's the closing night at the last drive-in theater in America and Cecil D Kaufman played by Hatchet's Richard Ryle has planned the ultimate marathon of lost film prints to unleash upon the unfaithful cinephile patrons uh, four films so rare they've never been they have never been exhibited publi uh, publicly on America soil until the very night. What could possibly go wrong? In the spirit of the classic anthology films like Creepshow and Twilight Zone, the movie, and containing films that not only celebrate the golden age of drive-in B-horror schlock, that's actually what it says, but also span over four decades of cinema, Chillerama offers something very for every bad taste with titles like Wadzilla, I was a teenage werebear, the diary of Anne Frankenstein, and Zombie Movie. That's actually what it's called, Zombie Movie. And featuring appearances by Joel David Moore from Avatar, Lynn Shea from Insidious, Ray Wise from X-Men The First Class, Kane Hodder from Friday the 13th, Eric Roberts from The Dark Knight, and more cameos, more cameos than you can count. Chillerama is sure to have you screaming for more from the depraved minds of Adam Rifkin, Detroit Rock City, Tim Sullivan of 2001 Maniacs, and Adam Green, Frozen, and Joe Lynch, Wrong Turn 2. It's interesting that they put Adam Green and they put Frozen in there. Um, would that be the assumption to be making that that is the CG cartoon, Frozen? Don't feel like it goes with all the other ones here. Uh, let's see here. It's a kick-ass love letter to the drive-in, says Dave Alexander of Rue Morgue. Special features include commentary from the director, Wadzilla deleted scenes and trailer, the making of The Diary of Anne Frankenstein, I Was a Teenage Werebear trailer, behind the scenes and deleted scenes, zombie deleted scenes, director's interviews, and Chillerama trailer. Uh, the release date on this was 2011. The runtime, from what I can see, is 120 minutes. Never even heard of it. Also, when I do these unbaggings, let me know down below, guys, what of these titles have you actually seen? And let me know what you think of them. Pulling out the next title. Let's have a look here. We've got Army of Frankensteins. Now, I remember hearing about this one. The North, the South, the Undead. This one was released in 2014 with a runtime of 109 minutes. 
An unstoppable terror is set loose upon a nation divided, and history will never be the same. After a failed attempt to propose to his girlfriend, Alan Jones, played by Jordan Ferris, is beaten within an inch of his life by a street gang transported to a mysterious... Oh, there was a period. Transported, there we go, to the mysterious lab of Dr. Tanner Finsky and his kid genius assistant Igor. Alan becomes the subject in a series of horrible experiments as part of the doctor's plan to reanimate the legendary Frankenstein monster. But all bets are off when these experiments lead to a hole being ripped in space and time pulling an army worth of the infamous creatures, infamous creatures of the hundreds of parallel universes, and sending them all back to the 19th century, directly into the heart of the bloody battle between the North and the South. An over-the-top sci-fi horror hybrid, Army of Frankensteins, is an outrageous film that dares to examine a history that never happened, a war between the states of life and death. That seems very interesting. This one was also released by Shout Factory back in the day. I've seen the like I've seen of like footage of the film. I've seen the trailer of the film. Never really actually gandered and checked and checked out the film uh, for myself. So I can give that a good go. Let's see what else we have inside the horror pack. We've got She Kills, the horror pack limited edition Blu-ray. Once again, we got this neat looking artwork. This kind of hand drawn artwork that was also in Chillerama. Doesn't look it's the same artist, but it looks like that, you know, that kind of same idea. Uh, on the back, let's see here. This was released in 2016. Uh, Sadie's life is destroyed when a vicious gang called the Touchers. Uh, well, you know that's going to be a problem when the movie introduces a gang called the Touchers. Targets her for her, their sadistic fantasies after witnessing her sexy but innocent naked frolicking in a nearby field. On her wedding night, they attack her and her husband, Edward brutalizing both of them. But during the attack, the virgin bride discovers a dangerous secret about her body. She is cursed with the legendary fire crotch. Oh boy. A condition where Satan has laid claim to her vagina after visiting her fortune teller friend, Casparella. A space exorcism is attempted on her meat flaps, but it only ends up unlocking secret hidden powers inside her. Whew, I feel like I run a marathon. Her hatchet wound becomes lethal, her most deadly weapon in their thirst for revenge against the touchers and her fight against lustful men everywhere. The special features include uncut movie, three commentary tracks, behind the scenes footage, and trailers. Yowza. Uh, this was again released 2016. The runtime for this, I do not see. Hmm, I don't see it all. Some would probably debate. Probably too long. Gonna give that a watch. <laughs> oh man. And last but certainly not least, we have The Pyramid from producer Alexander AJA. I guess that would be Alexandra Aja, director of The Hills Have Eyes. We have The Pyramid. The curse is real. On the back, the release date for this was 2014 with a runtime of 89 minutes. The age-old wonder of the world have long cursed explorers who have dared to unlock their mysteries. But a team of archaeologists get more than they bargained for when they discover a lost pyramid unlike any in the Egyptian desert. As they begin to uncover its horrifying secrets, they realize that they're being relentlessly hunted by an ancient evil more nightmarish than anything they could have imagined. From producer Alexandra, Alexandra, uh, Aja, AJA would be AJ, AJ, or be Aja, or be Aya. I'll leave it to you guys to decide. Director of The Hills Have Eyes comes a pulse-pounding journey into true terror. Now that seems intriguing. I don't know about she kills, but I mean, at the very least, a pyramid has caught my attention. Special features include extended ending, featurettes, fear, space, archaeology, Egyptian myth, partners, and image gallery. Again, it doesn't seem like all that bad based on the images that they put down below. I'm gonna give that a go. 
So let's have a look at some of the more obscure titles, and this must be one of the more obscure unbaggings of the horror pack that we've done in recent memory. Working our way backwards, we had the Pyramid, She Kills, well, that's interesting, uh, Chillerama, and the Army of Frankensteins. I have some time that I'm going to have to sit down and give these a, give these a watch. Uh, you can also certainly follow me over on Twitter, so if you if you are following me currently on Twitter or you're about to follow me on Twitter, uh, as I check these out, give these movies a gander, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know my opinions of them in uh, on Twitter. Uh, usually is the place where I post uh, if I've watched any recent movies and uh, certainly what I've thought of them. Today, though, in the meantime, we were having a look and unbagging what I believe to still be the March 2019 bag from the folks over at Horror Pack. If you... If you would like to get the Horror Pack to look at your house every single month, I'll put the link down below. You can get four randomly selected, although it is the same titles for every person that subscribes to the Horror Pack. Randomly selected titles that you probably don't even know of. You do the unbaggings like this guy does here. Also, speaking of subscribing, if you haven't done so already and you haven't subscribed to this channel, Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. I'm a lot of fingers in the end of wrap up this video, but certainly hit that subscribe button down below. More videos, more subscription boxes, and certainly more unbaggings will be coming soon. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.